Well, Rhonda, uh, I mean, it's only the fifth time, for goodness sake. So I, I don't think I'm exaggerating, but it almost feels like a right of October. But it was great to see you show the emotion that you did. Well, it was, uh, I mean, Jerry had a fantastic year, so did the other girls. But uh, I think it just shows the emotion of the whole summer that I that I had and I experienced. And when I said I was on cloud nine, I really felt like I was on cloud nine. We'll talk about the U.S. Senior Women's yeah. Open in a minute. But just when you look at the group of young women that you have won this uh, honor of through the selection, I mean, it's there's such a great group of young talent in this province, and for you to continue to be at the top of your game, uh, how do you do it? Well, I'm not actually sure. <laughs> um, or you don't want to tell. I know. I know. Maybe. Uh, maybe I should not wake up and find out. You never yeah. know. Um, yeah, they are amazing. I mean, the future for golf in Manitoba is bright. They're all fantastic, great golfers. Uh, right now, I'm still, you know, extremely committed to being fit and wanting to compete and knowing how to compete and. You know, still learning. I mean, I feel like every day you learn on the golf course. It doesn't matter how old you are, what you're done. You can still try to get better, and every situation is different. So I, I think that's it. I just, I just love to compete, and I love to play. Is the best part of your game still what was the best part of your game 20 or 25 years ago? Um, well, 20 years ago, I just started golfing, okay. so... <laughs> I, I probably didn't have very much good in my game then. Okay, uh, years ago. Years ago, yeah. Um, I would say probably, you know, when I'm competing against the seniors, I would say that same part of the game is a strength. When I'm competing against the younger girls, it's probably more course management and trying not to get into trouble, uh, which is totally different than when you first start golfing or when you first start competing even. You got very emotional out there when you talked about... Yeah. Uh, the experience in Portland, the six days, and Brendan on the bag, and uh, who else was there uh, family-wise, and who were some of the friends that you made reference to that uh, were there to cheer you on and support you? Well, I had, um, my husband, of course, was there, Sean, and uh, he didn't carry the bag, but he walked every step. And I had friends from Vancouver, really good friends for, you know, probably 50 years now, and they drove down from Vancouver and spent the week with us and walked, not not big golf fans, but they enjoyed every second and just hung out and, and, and engaged in experience. And a couple of golf friends that used to golf at Southwood from the island drove down and watched a couple of days. And so it was it was just so cool to have them around and, and get to be part of, just to be part of it. When, final one for me, when you find your reading classes yeah. uh, and you look back on that Golf Manitoba website and you see your name, all over that website. What's that going to mean to you? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't. I try. I guess someday I'll look back now. Yeah. I, I really try to think. There's only a couple times a year where I sit back and look at what I've done for the year. And and I was already talking to Brianna about what we're going to do on the winter and what I'm going to prepare for next year. So I, you know, until I can't anymore or I stop being able to compete, I think I just, I'll just look forward and someday I guess step back and think, you know, that was, that was pretty good. What's on your bucket list for 2024? Oh, geez. Um, I haven't really thought about it too much, we but there's got to be some. We do know that you lost the playoff in the women's amateur a couple of years ago and came back close to winning it. Yeah. I'd like to have one of those. And... So the amateur, definitely the, the thing that's missing from the resume is the, the, the amateur. So the, the kids are pretty tough, but I, I hope to get my game together for, for that. Um, obviously, I'll, tr I'll try to go back and, and do better at the Open. You know, I didn't make the cut, but uh, I mean, the experience of being there is amazing. And I spent a lot of time sightseeing when I was there, I have to say, and spectating. Um, as th at one point, Brendan and I rode in the practice area, and there was only Brendan and I and Annika and her caddy, her husband, Mike. And I looked around, and I thought, this is like I'm living in some alternate world. So, you know, obviously going back there and I played in the U.S. Senior Am this year and, and probably did as poor as I've done any time I played, which was really disappointing. So I'd, I'd love to get back there and, and actually uh, and compete at the level that I would expect to compete at. Rhonda, uh, I only got one because you guys asked all the good ones. Okay. But, uh, you know, tonight's a night of reflection. You obviously did a lot of reflection yeah. up there. When you reflect back, like, I mean, what is the game of golf kind of meant to you? 
You can oh. put that into words. Yeah. Not take 15 minutes. Even yeah. though I'm sure you <laughs> <laughs> How is it meant to me? I, you know, it's it's a huge part of my life now. And at one time, like I said, 20 years ago, it wasn't any part of my life. And uh, my friends, my, my family all golfs now. We do it together. My, my brother and my nephews come in. So it's it, it's part of a, a family ritual, I guess, in many ways, something that we come together to do. And tons of my best friends have made playing golf. And um, it's a whole community and a support system. And it, it's kind of like a big family. And, and I think so that's what it means to me. It's, it's, it's everything to play golf and, and really win the awards. I heard somebody say once, it's everything to me and nothing. I love to win it, but I love to play and I love to be part of that community. Oh, one more, sorry. Yep. Well, your game is obviously aged like fine wine. <laughs> Anything that you've kind of learned about yourself, even in the more recent years, as, you're, as your game, as you have kind of maybe had to adjust, or I don't know what you've had to do, but uh, can you just talk about what you maybe learned about yourself? Uh, yeah, you learned. do have to, you do have to adjust a bit. I Well, I know that I'm... Uh, um, uh, extremely competitive. <laughs> I probably, my mother probably would have said that when I was 10 though. Um, uh, um, persistent and, uh, I have a lot of commitment when I decide I want to do something and I put my mind to it, I'm, I'm going to stick to it. And I think that, you know, even there's a lot of obstacles come into play. Like you have different things in your life that might be setbacks, emotional things that it's hard to deal with. And, and I, I think I've learned to be able to, to compartmentalize that a bit and walk on the course and put everything aside and actually, you know, deliver when stuff might not be going on great in your in your world outside. And so, um, yeah, I think that pretty much sums it up.